Hello, my most amazing artist. Hey, you, hey, hey, sir. So our art project for today, we are going to be learning about contour lines. A contour line is a type of line that goes around the thing that you're drawing. So you can kind of think of it like an outline, okay? And artists and people who practice art use this um, technique to help them practice drawing and practice looking at the thing that they're drawing and trying not to focus on making mistakes. So it's a really fun exercise. I hope you enjoy it. So there is an artist whose name is Allison Kunath, and she specializes in doing these blind contour drawings. So I'm going to let you listen to her kind of talk about how she does it and why she does it. One way I let go of control is by drawing without looking at the paper. These are called blind contour portraits. Since my eyes are glued to my subject the whole time, I don't get to notice mistakes. Or be tempted to change a funny mark and try to make it look more perfect. And since my pen never leaves the paper, I'm forced to make these interesting shapes that are somehow better than they'd end up if I was watching where my pen was going. So here is Alison Kunas website where she has a lot of examples of her blind contour drawings that she's done. I absolutely love the way that she does the texture for her subject's hair. So like she was saying in the video, it's really great when you're doing a blind contour drawing because you're not really worried or focused on making any mistakes because you know it's going to look silly because you're not looking. So you really get to focus on what you're looking at, what you're drawing, because you're not looking at your paper. So there's two ways to do this. You can do a blind contour drawing, which like it kind of sounds like you're not looking, so you're blind. You're not looking at your paper that you're drawing on. You're only looking at the thing that you are drawing. So what that means is that you can pick up your pencil or your pen or whatever you're drawing with and move your pen around. So the other way to do a blind contour drawing is to do a blind continuous drawing. So the difference here is that in a blind continuous contour drawing, you cannot pick up your pen or pencil. So the whole drawing is one continuous line this makes it a little more challenging, but I personally love doing this one. For our blind, continuous contour drawing, you're gonna need to figure out which hand you write with or draw with. I'm right-handed. So I'm going to be looking at my subject matter, and my subject matter is gonna be a peace sign. I'm gonna be using my non-dominant hand, so my hand that I don't write with, to do my peace sign. You can choose to do your peace sign from the back, or from the front, it's up to you. I think I wanna go from the front. Uh, is this the front, is this the front? I don't know, I'm gonna do this, this view. And remember, I'm not looking at the paper, I'm only looking at my peace sign, and I'm not gonna pick up my marker. So here we go. So doing this exercise is really great practice to focus on what you're drawing and not be worried about making mistakes because we know it's gonna look kind of silly. So it's a really great exercise um, in looking at what you're drawing. This is also a really great exercise because you can do this with literally any subject matter. You can use your hands, you can draw your mom or your dad or your grandpa, you can draw things in your house, you can draw things outside of your house. You can do this exercise with anything. <laughs> not too bad so you can make as many of these blind continuous contour drawings as you would like I like to layer them on the same page so do a couple different drawings or from different angles on the same page and then it's really cool to add different details or even color it I hope you have fun doing our continuous blind contour drawings